This is Courage Barbell. I'm your host, Chad Ikes. Today, I wanted to take a chance to get outside the gym and talk about some of the other stuff that is super important to what happens inside the gym. I think there's a big disconnect of people or lifters that focus solely on what happens in the gym and they think that's the most important thing. When I disagree, I think that's just a small portion of it. And for me, I love killing myself in the gym. I actually did a BFR leg day and like right now my legs are freaking, my whole lower body is just toast right now. So it's actually kind of nice to sit down for a minute, but it's also uncomfortable. First of all, though, let me tell you, the online store is up. You can go to courageathletics.com or you can go to couragebarbell.com. I still got to get a bunch of stuff up like these sweet ass skull cap beanie things um, and some ball caps and some different design on shirts. And we got sweatpants coming. I'm going to try to get some, some hoodies out in time before it gets warm. We'll see. Uh, but please, if you want to support the channel, if you want to support Courage Barbell, please go to the store, check it out, find something really cool to buy and purchase it. Uh, also, please like this channel, subscribe to this channel, comment to this channel. Thank you all the guys that have commented. I try as hard as I can to read them all like them and respond to the ones that need responding. I appreciate you guys taking the time to do that. Um, Instagram, Chad Ikes, follow that too. Okay, today I want to talk about burning the house down. Now this may seem like a scary thing. It may seem like a hard thing. It may even seem, seem like something you shouldn't do. But sometimes you got to burn the house down. You might be able to save the foundation, but... You're not going to fix it. Just burn this shit all down and rebuild it. Be the phoenix rising from the ashes. Now, when I speak about this, I speak a lot in terms of just our personalities and who we are. We grow up in a society that's so tweaked and there's so many things wrong. And as children, we interpret things so weird. And sometimes you just got to dig inside yourself, man, and just rip it all to shreds and tear it all apart and then rebuild yourself in a better and stronger way. You might be able to save some lumber and there's a lot of stuff in there you can save, but just tear it all down and rebuild it. But the other day I had this thought, I was, I was doing some research on Carl Jung and um, his concept of the shadow. And I never really thought of it in this way, but I've talked about it a lot before. If I wouldn't have burned myself down, if I wouldn't have completely destructed myself, I would have never became the power lifter that I was. I would have never broke those all-time world records. I would have never broke, won so many championships. I would have never done any of the things that I did. I still have a top 10 total, all-time total. And I haven't competed and I don't even know how long now. And look at me, my shoulders are so skinny right now. Um... But it took me going, listen, I don't have the information that I need. I don't have the skills that I need to achieve what I want. So therefore, I had to go learn and trust the people that I was learning from and trust the people that I sought out and listen to what they said. And basically what they said was your technique sucks. Like all of your ideas of training are shitty if you're going to try to be a power lifter. And, and I had a lot of knowledge. I had college throwing and there was a lot of good stuff that I had. There was a lot of good information that I had. But essentially, I needed to just rip it all apart, pick out the shit that was still good, and then rebuild everything with all the new knowledge that I had, adding in the good stuff that was left over in my pile of rubble. And that actually allowed me to take all the great new knowledge I had and tweak it with the, with the other good knowledge that I had. But I didn't have all this crap in the way. I wasn't trying to rebuild a shitty house. Just plow the son of a bitch under. Start over. And so I think a lot of times people fear change. In general, I think people fear change. But lifters fear change too. They're like, well, no, no, no. I got here by doing this. So I can only keep doing this. Yeah, but you're not getting any stronger. Like you bench 315 for three years. Like it's not working. It's not going to change at this point. You've given it a full go. Nice job. Now recognize it's shit. Move on. Tear the fucking house down. 
And I think that's scary for a lot of people. And I know this. I know everything I know is because I've done so much messed up shit. As I was, as I learned and I and I was changing things and tweaking things, there's a lot of times where it took me months to think about something and I knew it was wrong, but it was scary to change. And it took me months and months and months of just hammering myself down. And finally I went, chat, dumbass. Like you know it. Just follow yourself, trust yourself. And I would change, and then bam, everybody in the team would start getting stronger again. So the simple fact of this whole video is don't fear change. Don't be afraid to burn it all down. If you have a strong foundation, you can burn it down and that foundation is still going to be fine. But that gives you a good base to start rebuilding. Sometimes we got to take two steps back to start taking a bunch of steps forward. It really is simple. Don't be afraid. Like you've built yourself up before. You can do it again. Like I've crashed my... I've rebuilt myself. I don't even know how many times now. I've done it in the gym. I've come back from injuries. I've done it as a human being and a person. Where I I like... Things aren't going right in my life. And I go, this is, this is me. I have to change me. And I tear myself down and I rebuild myself. And then later on, so many years later, I'm like, man, things again... I, I Something got tweaked and something's wrong. Let's just tear it all down. Let's just delve inside and start ripping shit apart. Figure it out. Build it back better. And you continue to do that. And that's going to be part of your life change. But it's the same thing in strength training. Like you're going to hit plateaus. You're going to hit times where it's like, man, like I need to to reconstruct everything and start over. Keep the good knowledge that I have and rip everything else down and then rebuild it. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't fear that. Why do we fall? We fall so we can learn to get back up. And every time we learn to get back up, we have more tools, more knowledge to do it again and again and again. And life is hard. Life is tough. It's going to keep smacking you. So just be prepared. And every time you rebuild, have that much more confidence to know you can rebuild again. And you can rebuild again. And you can rebuild again. And every time you're learning more and you're getting better. Please like the channel, subscribe to the channel, get some Courage Barrel merch, and I appreciate you guys watching, I appreciate you guys supporting me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, chat out.